Peace, Health, Happiness, and Prosperity. I'm Dr. Keela, and I am here with one of my favorite chiropractors in all of Georgia. This is my personal chiropractor, Dr. Kurt Miller. Say hello, hello everybody. Hello, everybody. Now, Dr. Kurt, I've been with you for a while, and one thing I loved about you is that, one, you're friendly. I didn't feel like I was coming to a chiropractor who was trying to be a medical doctor. You were very knowledgeable about not only the body, but the importance of nutrition, the importance of water intake, a lot of these things that other chiropractors may, may miss out on. Um, tell our viewers uh, a little bit about yourself and what made you pick this um, purpose to help us live a, a healthy life. Well, I've been a chiropractor now for almost 10 years. Uh, graduated in uh, 2002. Uh, Came to Georgia. I was originally from Florida, so mm -hmm. I came, moved up to Atlanta. It was either Atlanta or Davenport, Iowa, to go to school. And uh, Atlanta had a chiropractic college, so that's why I came here. Yeah. I was involved in a car accident. I was a uh, very athletic triathlete, and was on my way to work. I was working at uh, Marpets, and got hit from behind, and just happened to be lifting a briefcase off the, the floorboard at the time, and uh, got hit from behind, and felt, you know a jolt and then excruciating pain and you know I, I went to the medical doctor and the, you know he after you know waiting two hours to see him and five minute consultation he was talking about surgery and I was like man really? yeah. <laughs> yeah. so my dive buddy uh, I lived on Fort Lauderdale Beach and my dive buddy said hey why don't you go see my chiropractor and I was like <laughs> give me his name <laughs> you know I mean I was in a lot of pain yeah. it was like somebody was stabbing me with a knife uh. And uh, so I went and saw him, I, I went and made an appointment, went into his office, and I'll never forget the look in his face when he looked at me. His eyes were this big, and he was like, oh. You were that bad. I was that bad. <laughs> so I ended up waiting about a year, uh, literally waited. I saw him on a regular basis, and I was getting better, and then I'd get worse, better and worse. And I ended up, after a year and a half, I ended up finally relenting and, and went and had back surgery. Uh, I was very very, very blessed that uh, one of my best friends from college, undergraduate college, was a neurosurgeon. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And he said, listen, don't do any of this uh, you know, hardware thing as the one doctor uh, that was recommending. He said, listen, you want to do this laser, micro, uh, micro uh, discectomy. And I said, oh, okay. So I went and got the consultation and, and you know, I was, I'm one of the, the, the lucky ones. You know, what they don't tell you when you have something like that, when you have surgery and hardware, Short-term results, very good. Long-term results, after five years, typically 80%, if not more, those patients are back in having surgery at a different level or the same level. Really? So it's, it's, it's really remarkable. And then you get, into, you get into this medical gauntlet of you know, injections and surgeries and hardware and you know, going to get more injections. And I was lucky that I didn't have to go that route. These but, are probably people that's going to be dependent upon med medication for pain for most of their lives. For most of their lives. Yeah. Um, and so you get in this, it's, a, it's this never-ending cycle. Well, you know, take this medicine, take this medicine. And then as, as we mostly know, many of us know, you meet people that get you know, dependent on these drugs to live, yes. to function. And, yes. and it's, it's not one medication becomes two medications and then it just spirals out. So I found that chiropractically it helped me in, 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 a, in, a, in a lot of aspects and just not for the pain management, but I've learned some things over the years on how to treat patients, how to consult with patients, how to counsel patients. And basically that's, that's, that's what I do. I, I, you know, I, I try and speak to patients as my, you know, my, you know, brother or my, daughter or is somebody close to a family member to, to, to let them know, hey, listen, I genuinely, I am, uh, you know, I've walked in your shoes, I've been there, I know what it's like to, 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 to understand where you are today, but let me kind of tell you where you can be in the future. So I, I explained to them how chiropractic works and, and uh, you know, you're, you're a beneficiary of that. Mm -hmm. And then... I try and educate my patients, and it's about, you know, it's not about just, you know, chiropractic adjustments. It's about nutrition. It's about, you know, increasing good water intake. It's, it's, it's about 
other factors, and a chiropractic is just one of those slices of the pie. Right, right. And then the flip side is, is I do have patients that don't respond to chiropractic care. Uh, that sometimes, you know, that's that's thankfully that's a very low percentage and, and less than ten percent. That I do have to me make a medical referral. Say, listen, you know, you might want to go here and I'll do the referral for pain management. Uh -huh. But I don't lose control of the patient. Right. I just send them out for an evaluation and for a procedure, and those patients come back to me and they're still under my care. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, and so that's basically how I work. You know, that was one of the things that I, I, I actually loved about you is that, especially for someone like me, when I meet people, I can just basically feel their energy. And I can feel that you were very sincere. I, actually, during the time where I was competing for bodybuilding, um, I was just, I was going to a lot of chiropractors. And some of them will say some crazy stuff to me, but, but the others, I just didn't feel like they were sincere. I felt like I was just another folder or I felt like I was another number. And what really impressed me is that, you know, I, I don't think I have a, a difficult name, but when someone remembers my name immediately when I call and to schedule, you're like, hey, Akila, and I was like, hey, you know, it really made me feel like I mattered to you. It made me feel like, you know, you really care about my health, about my health being. And when I told you my goals about, you know, I'm, I'm competing in bodybuilding, I'm doing the natural route, I'm not doing, you know, the, the crazy drugs, you know, all the, the other stuff, the whey protein, I'm not doing all this. And you did not lecture me. You was like, okay, this is your goal. Let's, this is the game plan we deal with. And I really like that you were very sincere. And and I'm sure this is the reason why you have a lot of long-term, you know, patients, huh? Right, because I'm not selling plan. I don't sell care plans. It's just, it's, it, it doesn't fit me or my personality. And I, and I think patients truly know when they're being sold a, a bill of goods versus what, yeah. you know, what somebody really thinks is good for them and in their best interest. And, and, and that's, so I just try to be genuine with, with, with my patients. Most of my patients call me by the, you know, my first name, Dr. Kurt, or you know, some call me Dr. Miller, more formal patients. But I try and keep it very, very low key. And the other thing that I, I really try to stress in my office is one thing that really made me not, not happy as a patient is just, you know, you go in to a medical doctor's office, and it's not that I don't like medical doctor's offices, it's just I don't like how they, it's they, they, it's the whole practice. You go in, you have an appointment, you wait for an hour in the waiting oh, room. Oh, I can't stand that. And then, they, <laughs> then they move you into the back room, then you wait for an hour, right, then, you, then right. they come in and they rush in and they do whatever they need to do, and five minutes later, you know, sh out the door, and you're like, well, you know, I got these questions here that I had about you, and you're talking about cutting on me next week, and what's going on? So what the big thing that I try and do with my patients is one is I, you know, if you need five minutes, you get five minutes. You need a half an hour, you get a half an hour. I keep it really laid back and, and if I'm a medical doctor, but this is what we'll do in the meantime, and I try and explain patients' options because patients want to know a few things when they come in. One, can you help me? Right. Two, how much is it going to cost me? That's right. <laughs> and three is what are my long-term you know, what are my long-term objectives that I'm going to, you know, what's going to happen in the long term? Is this going to be a continuous problem or can I get over this in the short term? Or And, and that's what patients really want to know. Yeah. How long is this, this going to affect me? And what I really try to do is get pa patients back to the lifestyle that they're used to before they come in because that's what drives most people. Right. Is those things that you really enjoy doing, whether it's running or cycling or working out. It's those those are your things that you drive you in your daily life that mm -hmm. you like to do and that's what most people want to get back to. Right. And that's when you'll get the the full benefits of, of my care is when I can get you back to those things and then you'll really uh, advance your care. Absolutely. And I refer to a lot of people. That's the thing, when you know you are doing good when your patients are like, Hey, you gotta go see my doctor, you gotta see my chiropractor, he's the bomb, he's this, he's that, and that's exactly you know, I don't refer bad service. Because that's a reflection of me, and you know, I just love that about you. Tell us, you know, what you offer here at your practice. Well, several things. Uh, I'm a chiropractor first, first and foremost. Mm -hmm. uh, I evaluate, you know, structural misalignments, and and, and I correct those. Uh, whether you want to term that as subluxation is a term that they use. I use the term misalignment. Uh, the other thing that I would like my 
my patient base to know is, is and potential patients is that I'm very medically oriented. If you, there's something that you come into my office and there's something that I'm saying, mm, you know, this just it isn't adding up and through 10 years of practice I've become pretty good at that. I'm going to say, listen, you know, Mrs. Smith or Mrs. Jones, you know, we're going to need to send you back to your primary. Uh, I always refer back to the primary. Is uh, over the years I've, you know, built up a good relationship with a lot of the primary doctors here in town, and they understand that, hey, you know, he's a normal guy. He's not one of these crazy guy or <laughs> and, and that's taken a right. few years to really kind of get my foot in the door with him. But they also understand that when I'm calling on the phone. They know it's hey, it's just not this crazy car guy. Right. Hey, listen, really, I should take an extra five minutes and look at this patient. Yeah, and yeah. So that, you know, and it bodes well to, to to the patient, and that's why we're all here is to take care of the patient. So, uh, and and that's the big thing. Now, I just started uh, a newer service in my office. It's uh, called High Power Laser. Okay. Um, this is the the, the uh, banner in, in the back that I just had made for the office, which is a basically it's a it's a, la it's a laser beam, but it's high powered, which means it's, it, it utilizes anything more than a half a watt is called high power. And one of the side effects, not a side effect, but one of the, when utilizing high power laser is you feel, you'll feel heat. Okay. Okay. Uh, there's another laser called cold laser therapy, and that's less than half a watt. Okay. Basically what it does, what laser therapy does is it biostimulates the cells to repair them themselves. So, so typically you'll see as patients get older they, or uh, patients that are diabetic or that have other health concerns, they typically don't, they're, they're, or lack of nutrition, they're not nutritionally at the optimal level is what I find is they don't heal as quickly as they should. Yes. So this will, in addition to nutrition, this will help them heal quicker and get back to that lifestyle that they enjoy. Mm. Awesome. Awesome. So. Basically, we're here in Fayetteville, right? Yeah, downtown you, Fayetteville. You, you actually see people in Clayton County, Fayetteville, Henry County. Oh, I see. I have patients that come. They drive all to <laughs> They drive a couple hours, you know, one way uh, to come. Hey, if you're good, you're good, right? And it's. It, I like myself get a lot of my patients from a personal referral, which is the biggest compliment that I yes, have. It is. Uh, most economical too, but it is the it's it's the, the nice compliment. I get a lot of really, really nice, genuine folks that are, they just want help with their problems. Right, right. Well, you're going to see his name and address as well as the phone numbers right here on the screen right now. And after uh, we finish, you're going to see uh, the entire information. We will have your uh, website. We have Dr. Kurt Miller's website as well as uh, office phone number and the address. So if you are interested in a fantastic chiropractor, I highly recommend this guy right here. He is the man, all right? And you can just call him and schedule a uh, consultation. So you do initial consultation, yeah, free right? initial consultation. Yeah. If you have a problem, please call me. I'd be happy to discuss with you uh, your, your type of problem that you're having. And then if, if I do deem it appropriate to invite you in for uh, you know, consultation, I will. And uh, then we can go from there. Yeah, because that's what I did. When, when uh, I was referred to him by a massage therapist, and um, I wanted to make sure we were on the, on the same page because, like I said, you know, I've seen other chiropractors before him, and it was it was just not working. I, either they were saying something crazy to me, or I wasn't feeling that good energy, you know. And so when I talked to him, you know, I did I called him first and got a free initial consultation, and I just scheduled the next day. I just knew this was going to be a great fit. So you know, if, if I know he's a great fit for me, I know if you guys love me, you're gonna really love Dr. Kurt Miller, okay? So obviously I like this guy. Can you see? <laughs> so is there anything else you want to say but before we sign off for? Welcome back to Georgia. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I've been gone for a while. I'm back to I'm back here from Germany. So yes, so yeah, and I'm back to see. I got fell over when I had to refer to her as dog. <laughs> Because I want to show up as, as the patient, you know, and uh, I never tell people what I really do. I was you know? like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Been doing it for so long, so now I'm back in 
uh, America. And I'll be going to Germany. Don't worry, my, my German uh, clients over there in Germany know where I'm coming uh, every three months for just a month. But for all my Americans, I'm here back. I'm back here, OK? All right, well, Dr. Kurt, thank you so much for granting me this interview. I really appreciate it. We've had a lot of, of my uh, subscribers and clients who wanted to get more information from, about chiropractic care and, and uh, to hear about a chiropractor. And I said, hey, I know one, mine. So I thought what a bit of the best option is to interview you, because I know from personal experience how wonderful and outstanding you are. I right. really appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you. All right, so this is Dr. Akila, and I am leaving you as I approach you with the blessings of love, peace, health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great one.